and welcome to Studio Sessions with Pamela. Today I'm sharing with you a mini album that I created for this past week's Big Picture Classes Play event. Close to My Heart sponsored the event and they were the ones that presented the last class on Wednesday night, I believe it was, and this is the mini album that they shared. It, come from, it comes from the art booking collection and it is featured on page let me pull it up here. Featured on page 42 and 43 of the Art Booking Handbook. And it is a, it is a 7x5 top secret mini album. I used these pieces right here for the base, for the pages of the mini album, and then I used images throughout the cartridge to create the rest of it. And so I wanted to share that with you today. This is using the new Lolly Doodle collection. We use the paper packet along with the complements and the assortments and the new flamingo dots that we have and then a little bit of baker's twine. So I created a Cricut craft room file. So that was fairly tedious because as a participant at home, we didn't get a pre-cut kit, so I had to make my own kit. So if you're interested in that, I'll have in more information on that on my blog. So let me just flip through the pages and share with you a little bit about the album. The colors used were pear, cotton candy, slate, sorbet, and juniper, and a little bit of white daisy cardstock. Like I said, the album is five by seven. And then I'll just flip through the pages to share a little bit. So all these pieces, everything in here was cut using the um, art booking collection. And we've got the stick, the my stickies, which are we also call them complements. Um, they come in a variety. They come in dimensional elements like chipboard, and they come in stickers and sometimes canvas shapes. So these are the actual stickers, the My Stickies. And you can see they have some interactive pieces in it. I'm just gonna kind of flip through quickly. And the assortments from the Lolly Doodle collection. And this was a real fun project to create, even though on my end, being at home, I did have to kind of guesstimate all the shapes and sizes. Now the album itself, just to give you a little overview, is when you cut the album at seven inches, the pieces that coordinate with those two keys, you can keep your measurements at seven inches and everything will cut proportionately to that. Now a lot of that was done this way, but some of the images had to be resized, so they were using the real dial size. And so that's where it got a little bit tricky. So a lot of it I just eyeballed and guesstimated on it. So just continue. We have this cute little, the pocket pages so you can slip things in and out of. But you know, you can put journaling pictures in these areas. Do some, I was thinking doing some journaling here with the picture over here. And the stickies in this collection. You know, it's kind of geared around owls and love, so the messages and the words and sentiments are all real fun. And then there's lots of layering with the art booking images with the stickies, as you can see here, and then embellishing with the flamingo dots and the assortments. You and me. So this one, I, mean, I think this one will be real fun to use with my six-year-old daughter because it's just happy-go-lucky type pictures I'm thinking of using. So anyways, that's a, just a cute little mini album that you can create. And as I mentioned before, I will have details on my blog about how to get the Cricut Craft Room file. And possibly, if you're interested, I'm considering even doing um, a mini album kit, so everything will be pre-cut for you. I won't be able to offer that until February 1st because of the availability of the new product because for customers it becomes available on 
February 1st. So if you're interested in learning more about this, be sure to check out my blog at reflectionsofmyartandsoul.com and then you can shop for all of these products including the Cricut art booking collection and our other two Cricut collections at pamela.ctmh.com. Thank you so much for joining me today.